beautiful Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for June 2022. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details, and I will never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Capricorn, this is your June 2022 reading. You should still be feeling that influence from the new moon in Gemini that occurred on the 30th of May, and that's all about communication. It's a very thought-provoking time where uh, you're drawn to think about past situations or conversations that did not work out in your favor and how you've managed to adjust in order to make yourself clear and achieve whatever it is you desire, okay? It's about getting clear, making yourself understood, and no mixed signals, um, and accomplishing whatever it is you set out to do. Now, with that Gemini energy, you should also feel, um, you know, uh, a little bit more adventurous, trying to um, implement a little bit more fun in your day-to-day, -day. Um, maybe even looking towards uh, booking a vacation or a holiday, some sort of adventurous time ahead. Uh, also, um, you're going to have a lot of powerful ideas and feel really really creative now of course we also have a super moon uh, super full moon in Sagittarius on uh, the 14th of June and that's all about um, being inspired and believing in yourself it's also asking you to look at how far you've come and really sort of like appreciate how much you've evolved and the accomplishments you've already uh, achieved because as humans we tend to uh, look at the journey in terms of accomplishing something then we're on to the next we re really don't truly sort of revel in the fact that we have been very strong endured a lot and accomplished something we tend to like always be looking forward and not live in the now so you may feel a little bit more like um inspired to really sort of like be proud of yourself and that's okay um now also you may feel called to connect with friends uh friendship circles or people you haven't seen for a while but definitely injecting a little bit more fun into your schedule especially if you've been feeling a little bit stuck in a rut how would you like to receive thank you so much okay uh we have um, interesting. So I'm just going to get all your cards first. I'm going to do a Celtic cross right at the end, just so you're aware, um, to see the details of what is coming towards you. Uh, but just to let you know, your sixth house um, and your twelfth house are activated during this month. Now, the sixth house is all about daily routine, your work, uh, your health, your duties, uh, and, you know, uh, things that you feel obligated to um, connect to, like paying bills, uh, sort of like uh, spring cleaning, um, but, you know, also about resolving where you feel like home is for you or, or making your mark in some way. So, um, and the 12th house is the deepest part of your chart where you may feel a little bit more sensitive than usual. That's activated right at the end of the month. So you may be looking at insecurities, uh, you know, connecting to spirituality, aligning yourself with a, a dreamscape, but also you may feel a little bit uh, more inclined to withdraw from that energy. So at the beginning of the month, you really want to connect to people. Um, and then sort of mid month, you may feel like a withdrawal energy. And right at the end of the month, again, as we start moving into that uh, Cancerian energy, you're going to really feel like connecting to your heart space and aligning yourself with uh, people, uh, places, things that really sort of like inspire you, okay? Uh, that you feel like home. Um, so the first card here is the one that creates, the one who creates, okay? So as I said, you're going to feel a little bit more creative than usual in the month of uh, June. You're going to be very, very productive in a really powerful, positive and exciting way, okay? 
but it's about you marching to the beat of your own drum. It says creativity, originality, spontaneity. And it's definitely connected to a dream because we've got the moon card here. So it's almost like a plot twist. So you may uh, exhibit some sort of change in your plans. Perhaps you've got like a blueprint of where you want to be, where you want to go, and what you're intending to do. But I feel like you actually make a um, inspired but spontaneous decision to change something that actually is really rewarding. So um, you may, I don't know, I just feel like this voluntary change, um, your intuition makes you feel like all of a sudden, like, for example, if you're like, you know what, all of a sudden I want to change job sectors or all of a sudden I want to take a vacation. All of a sudden I want to go out and uh, do um, speed dating. I don't know. I feel like suddenly you're doing something and you're aligning yourself with your heart. It's like out of nowhere, there's an opportunity. You're grabbing it with both hands. And I feel it's quite an exciting month actually for you. Okay. Uh, but very creative, uh, very productive. Uh, you're actually exhibiting your skills. Uh, you're showing your prowess. And I feel like you're making shrewd decisions, uh, but you're in control. You're the catalyst for change. And I feel like your visions, uh, your ideas will actually um, sort of align you with success is what I feel here. Uh, now we've also got the moon card, which covers that. The moon is all about intuition, using your intuition to suddenly make a decision, perhaps, uh, because there is that plot twist kind of energy for you. Uh, if you've been feeling frustrated or confused or un unhappy about a certain thing in your world, you will be compelled to intuitively uh, make some changes and really connect to your dreams. Um, now, th the moon card can be a card of like mystery. so. I do feel like some of you may be actually working hard in silence, uh, sort of like taking a step back and becoming a little bit more mysterious. Uh, that's more highlighted for the around about the 14th of June, so that's about mid-month where um, you may feel compelled to go a little bit off-grid for a little while. Um, but the moon card often means that there is a great opportunity lying in the shadows and suddenly it appears at the right moment and you grasp it with both hands. So there's definitely a plot twist going on here for you and you are in control of it, okay? So whether it's a sudden idea, a sudden spurt of um, energy where you feel compelled to create something or you have an urge or a desire to start a new project, uh, I definitely feel like you're in flow and um, feeling a lot more inspired, really connected to your dreams. Um, and I feel like you're in a cycle of um, using your imagination because the moon card is all about imagination and using your intuition to sort of like um, infiltrate your day to day. So um, normally in the moon card, there tends to be like a pathway right through over the mountains. So I feel like if you've been going through any difficult uh, periods or you're feeling frustrated with something, you will find a way, you will find a path to uh, so make some changes in order to see your destiny or see your future or see ahead where you're aligning yourself with your intentions, okay? Um, now, also, there may be an energy here I'm picking up. Um, now, I don't often get it, but they're really highlighting the dog and the wolf there. Uh, occasionally, they highlight the images in the cards for me. So there may be a little bit of like a push and pull energy in the month of June about your, your path. Whether you want to connect things, uh, connect to things or leave you a little bit more independent, living life on your own terms, like marching to the beat of your own drum, or whether you want to sort of settle down or uh, conform to something, domesticity, okay? So because the dog represents that sort of element of uh, loyalty, domesticity, but being in the home space, and then there is that desire to be that lone wolf going out on an adventure. So you may feel that push and pull, and you know, the solution may be that, you know, you decide to book a vacation so you can feel that you're stretching your adventurous spirit, um, you know, sort of in some way uh, venturing forward to discover new areas in the neighborhood, for example, or a new restaurant that's just opened or, you know, or maybe it's further fields to, um, you know, explore other options in your career or even like book a vacation to uh, see another part of the world. So I feel like there is that there, but also I feel this desire to create stability or roots, okay? Being an earth element, stability and being practical is very important to you, but I feel like some of you may be uh, wondering where you belong in terms of the home space. Uh, maybe some of you may be thinking about buying a home or renting a space somewhere else that really fits in with your soul. Um, if you feel like you're not where you are, feeling like you should be right now, I feel like you're making that plot twist energy where you suddenly do something different and you really like are happy about the outcome. Um, we've also got the one who begins. 
launch, actualize potential. So I feel like, you know, a new project or a new uh, way of life, or a new way of living is definitely something that you're connecting to at this time. I feel like you really are exploring your options in June. And um, I feel like you're doing it in a really important way, which is you're, you're now, Again, don't shoot the messenger when I say this. There's an element here where you want to go fast. You just want to make the changes and be done with it and you're and it's over. They're indicating don't look for quick results. Uh, what they're showing me here is that transformation or evolving in some way is a slow process. Um, so I feel, you know, patience, moderation is important with that temperance card. Um, you're making some radical changes, whether it's a new job, whether you're launching your own channel or your own business, or you're launching your own brand or a new um, entrepreneurship where you're setting up, uh, you know, you're being an entrepreneur, you know, you're setting up your own business there, or even you're stepping into a leadership role. You're doing something new. OK, um, and I feel like you are seeing your full potential and it's coming to life. Everything is being shown on the physical plane. You're actually aligning yourself with success and you're starting to recognize physical evidence of prosperity in your world. So whether it's a dream that you had, you're actualizing it. You're not just keeping it in the dream space. You're not actually just saying, oh, I really, um, you know, I'm, I'm dreaming, dreaming to do this or uh, I hope to do this. You're like, okay, I want to do this. I'm taking the practical and necessary steps to make it happen. Let's go. So I really feel like you're in the flow. You're doing. So as I said, a lot of pro productivity, you're capable of achieving a lot and you're going to exceed your expectations. Uh, but this is launching something new that will actually change your life. The one who begins. Now, this is maybe something that you put off for a while or that you felt a little bit like uh, stuck in a rut or things have been out of your control and you've not been in the right mind space to actually start that thing. So it may have been a formulated idea. So maybe you're, for example, thinking about setting up your own business or you've got an idea for a piece of art or a screenplay or, you know, or a product that you're trying to um, make. I feel like it's something that you've been formulating for a while, but June is the month where you actually put set it in motion, uh, right? like fully, truly. So with the temperance card, this is all about balance. It's reminding you that you are in a state of alchemy. Okay. So you're recreating something really special, whatever this is, whether it is you taking a new uh, direction in your career, or whether it is you uh, deciding to take a new approach to finding love or a new approach of being in a relationship, because we've got the, the lover's card there it can also be, you know, you taking a new approach to business partnerships or dealings that you have that really align with your heart. Uh, basically, this is about you reevaluating your your values your motives and contemplating which path to take but whatever path you decide to take my beautiful capricorn you're creating something truly special because um you know the rainbow does not show up unless you have uh, rain and sun and that is like elements that you absolutely require to make something truly unique and uh, special. So I feel like a lot of blood, sweat and tears have gone into um, the things that you're in enduring right now on the journey. Uh, you've been working really hard uh, and I feel like now is the time to see the rainbow. Now is the time to see your vision actualize. Things are coming to life and I really feel like it's you're seeing in technicolor. That's what I feel. It's almost like you're seeing with new eyes. Now, really, uh, as I'm scrying in the water at the same time as doing reading, they're showing me a pair of feet. Now, either you're paying close attention to your feet right now, perhaps you've been doing a lot of walking and they're exhausted or you've got blisters or there's something going on with your feet. Um, so if that's you, perhaps you're going to be seeing about that or sorting that out. But it could also mean that you're making your mark or taking the first step on something. OK, so uh, please take that as it resonates. But I feel like the first step is like um, I feel like it's the first step of many and you're on a path uh, to a lot of abundance. OK, um, we've got the one who hopes love, hope and relationships. Now, of course, love is important for what you do. Uh, but I mean, it says love, hope and relationships. And you've got a lover's card there. So if you have been looking for love for a very long time, uh, definitely potential for you to meet somebody new. Uh, you may have kissed a lot of frogs before you meet this one. But this is the one. OK, uh, you've waited a long time for this, but they've saved the best for last. Let, let's put it that way. Um, but I feel this is more about what you're hoping to achieve, a dream, 
aligning yourself with something that you love doing. It doesn't always have to be about love. These monthly relationship, uh, the, these monthly readings are not about relationships. They tend to be about you and what you're striving for. So I feel like you are, as you can see, literally like sitting on a bridge overlooking the water. Now water in Tarot tends to mean the dream or the emotions. Uh, you're sort of connecting to that mysterious part of yourself where you've got some private sort of like dreams or goals or things that you're trying to realize in your world and you're looking at your reflection. So you're reflecting back to yourself where you want to be, where you feel like you are right now. You're really reassessing and I feel like this is about you sort of like about to take a leap of faith in some area because she's really looking at this little frog that's about to take a major leap so into something new so i feel like this is you sort of reflecting on the leap that you must take or the next step that you must take and it's a big one that's what i feel so whether it's going to be different for everyone but i feel it could be like a new job or it could be a promotion a raise elevation in your career in some way i mean if you're retired it could also mean you finding a, a hobby or something that you're really interested in uh, or even a friendship circle um you know meeting people of a similar mindset or even looking for love if you're retired as well so i feel like this is about you looking at your heart space looking at your dreams and seeing how you can connect to those things and make those dreams a reality Okay, so as you can see, it's like a bridge. Uh, I feel like you are bridging the gap between the fantasy of what you want to accomplish and the reality of having it show up in the physical realm. And I feel like with that um, that figure there, I hope you can see beautiful figure sitting on the, be uh, the bridge there, uh, the crown chakra is illuminated, which means deep knowing. You know you're going to be successful. You know that you are capable of making a bridge across that water to get to where you want to go, okay? Uh, but this is like you hoping to make things come to life, to make them realized, actualized. We got the hangman here, which means there has been a pause. And most importantly, you're realizing the sacrifices it will take for you to actually accomplish whatever it is you set out to do. So the hangman energy is about, um, you know, making some sacrifices in order to get many different perspectives and knowledge um, in order to take action, in order to manifest in the best way for your highest self. So I feel like you must be willing to sacrifice something in order to gain something new. So whether that's your time, your energy, your love, your care, your devotion, or whether it's a position, or whether it's uh, money, I feel like you are sacrificing something in order to get a better deal elsewhere. Something that more is in more alignment with your heart. Uh, the hangman energy is transcendence. You're overcoming, okay? It's, it could be also a gestation period where you've been surrendering, accepting things as they are, but really sort of reevaluating and uh, manifesting something new. But again, it's about perspective. I feel like you've endured a lot. You work really hard for what you want, but this is all about a dream to align yourself with your heart's desire. In the lover's card, at its grassroots, it doesn't have to be about a relationship or a soulmate partnership. It can be about you making a personal decision based on a certain set of circumstances that you find yourself in right now, communicating with yourself, examining your values, your motives, and the journey, and contemplating which path to take, because this card is about choice. So I do feel like you're making a big decision you desire to attract something in your life and you've got to put in the work or you've got to sacrifice something in order to gain it, whether it is your time, your focus, uh, whether it is, for example, you've got a big presentation to give and it means you have to miss out on, uh, you know, going drinking with your buddies because you need to really focus on something. It's about the sacrifices you make to align yourself with what is more important in your heart, okay? So I do feel like there's a union. Some of you, there's going to be like a proposal put on the table there uh, that you like it could be a, a, an investment proposal uh, that you really connect to it could be new income it could also be a love relationship if you've been dreaming or manifesting uh, love and you've always been like a solitary energy um, and you've been thinking about becoming a a couple with somebody or you've been trying to manifest love in general i feel like you've waited a long time to connect to this and you are going to be in a position in the month of june to really connect to deep love but it is your choice because I do feel, as I said right at the beginning, there's a choice between being an independent spirit and settling down. So I feel like you're making choices based on who you are in this moment. I mean, a couple of months ago, you may have been like, you know what, I'm all about independence. I'm living life on my own terms. I don't want to be beholden to anybody. Uh, I don't want to be in business with anybody. I don't want any of these things. 
then there's a plot twist you're making some changes and all of a sudden you're like you know what i just met someone i think they're really cool i'm falling in love with that person i want to be in a partnership with that person or you know you're like great an opportunity has arisen out of nowhere there's like a plot twist and suddenly there's a business partnership on the table. I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to reevaluate circumstances, investigate things deeper, and I'm going to commit myself to this because it's a really good deal for me. So I feel like you're looking at who you are, what you want, and you're creating something really special for yourself as you move forward. Okay. Um, I, what I feel, if I was just going to describe this uh, spread in a sentence, I would basically say a dream that you've been waiting to really accomplish is finally in motion. That's what I feel. Uh, things are starting to happen. Now, I'm just going to get um, a Celtic cross for you. Uh, I'm only reading the uprights apart from the challenge position. Uh, so let us see what comes up for you first. Uh, basically, um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys. How would I receive? Thank you so much. Um, Okay, I mean, all the same cards are coming up here. The four of wands there is about the home space. Now, right now in the water, they're showing me someone looking at receipts. So uh, either you are trying to weigh up your lifestyle, what you spend, and how to uh, manage your money better or protect your money. So we do have a four of pentacles there as well. Um, so either you're doing, I mean, some of you could be doing tax receipts uh, or you're just looking at what you spend and your income and your outcome. I mean, look, Seven of Pentacles, it's like, yeah, you're looking at the money. Uh, so if that's you, there's something in this message for you. You could be doing that. I mean, some of you may be just organizing receipts or getting administrative uh, tasks out of the way. I mean, that really does connect to your sixth house, actually, which is all about daily routine, work, health, bills, uh, things that you feel obligated to uh, look at. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so if that's you, if that's not you, you're not physically looking at receipts um, right now, it can mean that uh, later on in the month, you're going to really look at your spending um, or you're going to get organized on your spending. I know that sounds really dull and boring, Capricorn, but I mean, these are the things that are important. When we know where we're at with our finances, we can, you know, either splash a little bit, uh, splash the cash, or we feel like we're closer to a financial goal. So I really feel it is quite important to you. Um, we got the five of pentacles there. Thank you so much for it, guys. Yeah, so you don't want to be spending too much money is what I feel. The near future, I mean, for some of you, it's like, how do I save more money? Okay, and you're going to be like, you're going to be like, okay, uh, rather than lose out on more money and do a lot of spending, uh, I'm going to just stay at home for a little while and I'm going to focus on the things that I can do in the home space. So maybe literally like something as mundane as that that you're focusing on, um, but Thank you so much for it, guys. Great eagles. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do you need to know? Okay, uh, we've got the Queen of Cups there, and we've also got the Page of Pentacles. So definitely an offer coming on in here for you. I mean, there's a really important offer coming on in, one that you are really curious about, one that you worked hard to uh, connect to, um, and I feel it's finally showing up for you. But let's start at the beginning. We've got the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands is a very important card because it's all about the home space. Some of you may be preparing to go home. You may be wherever home is for you. I mean, I'm not talking about just at the end of the day, um, sort of like uh, going home after work. I feel like this is about you, where you belong. Okay, this is the heart of the matter. Now, this card is all about um, either reuniting with friends or family, um, but it can also be about, you know, you connecting to a homecoming. So if, for example, uh, you've been working, uh, I don't know, if you've been working in the U.S. for a while and then you, uh, but are your family have either relocated to, I don't know, um, Australia or Hong Kong or wherever, and or you're from there originally, uh, you may feel... Uh, compelled to travel there to reunite with people or take a vacation. Uh, this card is a card of the homecoming, okay? Uh, but what's really important here is about you celebrating yourself because there's a lot of energies coming from this. The Four of Wands is celebration. It is winning energy. It is like smashing a goal out of a park and again, you're on to the next, okay? So I feel like part of you, deep down, if you're really honest with yourself, you're really sort of proud of how far you've come so far. And that's perfect energy because that's 
that's a, an influence that's going to really be amplified in the month of June, especially from the 14th. So I feel like you should be proud of yourself, whatever it is that you're accomplishing. The four of wands indicates a win, some really good news coming on in here, but you're preparing for something. You're preparing for something more. Okay. I just feel like you're in that space in between of taking action, whether it is a leap of faith, whether it is uh, you know, a new path, but I feel like you're, you're winning. Even if it doesn't feel like it, I feel like you will be winning something. You are going to, it's almost like, yeah, I just feel like you're preparing to be secure before you take a leap of faith. Some of you could be saving, for example, before you change jobs or change sectors. You could be, uh, you know, working a notice period uh, and preparing for like an opportunity to, um, do something you're really excited about, you're really passionate about. The Four of Wands is a, cre a new creative phase as well. It's a time to indulge in pleasures, in harmony, in relationships. It's a time for revelry, uh, you know, kicking back and being in good company. So I feel all of this energy is like making magic around you where you're coming into balance. So I feel like you're going to spend time with good people. Uh, you're going to vibe with them. You're in sync with your desires as well, with your heart. And I feel a lot of you are going to be a lot more creative in the month of June um, and I feel like there's a win coming on in here for you now the crossing energy this is uh, you know things you know that you may feel as an obstacle in the month of June it's really connecting to that um, Cancerian card uh, the moon uh, card there because this is about security or opening yourself up and letting go you know and being a little more sort of like independent the home space or getting out there and sort of like spending money and you know um can also be about holding on to something that is no longer serving you or releasing it and letting it go it's no longer necessary in your life so i feel like you're looking at stability versus non-conformity and independence now you can have it all of course you can be independent and have security at the same time i feel that two are partnership energies uh but i feel this card with the four of pentacles is you may be holding on to something and because it's crossing a four wands, sometimes my beautiful Capricorns, and please don't shoot the messenger when I say this, you could be holding on to perfectionism. You always feel like you have to be the best of the best. You always have to feel like your creative project is the best. You, you, and of course it is the best, but sometimes when we feel an element of perfectionism, it can mean that we hold on to things because we feel like they're never perfect. So if for example, and I'm only giving an example here, if you're painting uh, like, a, a painting, uh, for example, or a picture, and you're like, okay, um, technically, I feel like I'm nearly done on this, but I feel like it's not quite right. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit more, and I'm going to do a little bit more. And it's never ever quite the way you absolutely want it. So you always feel like it's never perfect. So you're striving for something that is not obtainable. Okay, now I'm not saying your goal or your dream is not attainable. It absolutely is. But sometimes you have to recognize that you're awesome what you do at what you do. Okay, but if perfectionism is holding you back in some way, then it's something that needs to be addressed because that picture is perfect. But you may feel like something is not quite right. Okay, sometimes perfectionism can actually hold us back. It's a form of workaholism, really. It's a form of feeling like it never is enough. Or that you are never enough so just be mindful of that uh, you don't have to be perfect in fact sometimes um, the most perfect things are actually imperfect so just be mindful of that okay uh, now also there's an energy here of you um, worrying perhaps about your finances um, some of you may feel a little bit vulnerable or in a vulnerable position especially since we've got a five of pentacles here I'm not going to ignore it and sort of like blow smoke up your you know what and say you know what that five of pentacles doesn't exist uh, it's there. It's there for a reason. So some of you may be creating a plan or preparing to be able to secure your finances, especially since the world circumstances are like uh, economically uh, uncertain. You may be getting clear or getting in some sort of strategy uh, in order to protect your money in case there was some sort of like uh, crazy world crash or something like that. You know, so I feel like you're really... Um, protecting your um, property, protecting your assets and protecting your finances. Now, the Four of Pentacles does tend to be called like the miser of the deck. So some of you may be like, you know, saving, 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 but you're not having fun or you're not using any of your money to go out and have fun. So just be a little bit mindful of that because 
You know, if we're saving in the bank, it's wonderful. It's important. We all need money to pay bills. Money is not a dirty word. Sometimes people who have like a lot of money, they abuse their power with it. So money in itself is not a negative thing. It is something that's very important for us all to have a currency in life in order to be able to secure ourselves uh, and our families and get what we truly want in life, uh, you know, to build a luxurious lifestyle. Uh, it's not all about money, of course. The most important things uh, they always say tend to be free, which is about love, respect, uh, honesty, uh, you know, integrity, all of those things. So I feel this is about you, though, um, remembering to enjoy yourself, even though you're saving for something. Remember to have fun. Remember to connect to people. And, you know, you can spend a little. Just don't go over the top. So um, I feel like you're saving for something, but I feel like you're saving for some sort of new start or s some sort of I said either a plot twist or you're taking a chance on something I would avoid anything risky of course uh, but I feel like you are looking at your progress now deep down we have the uh, high priestess and this is all about mysterious energy the subconsciousness so I feel some of you are going to go off grid and you're working really hard to save towards something maybe some of you are saving hard to buy a home the home space because we got that four of wands some of you are saving uh, to uh, take a trip to um, as I said to see family you haven't seen for a while or you're thinking about um, relocating somewhere perhaps or buying buying a home or uh, just saving for something I feel like you're working hard in silence okay uh, the high priestess is an energy that you need to trust in your higher wisdom trust in your deep knowing trust in your intuition if something doesn't feel off you're putting yourself in a position uh, you're preparing to put yourself in a position of security you're in a really good position i really feel like you are in a very good position uh, anything you feel like you've lost out on i feel that like you gain in greater reward elsewhere in your life okay so if this is about money for you i feel like you know, we're going from four of pentacles, we're going to five of pentacles, and in the near future, we're going to the seven of pentacles. So your money is increasing. I feel like you're looking at the way you work, though, and how you can sort of like multiply your money without having to work even harder for it. So I feel like some of you may be finding ways to, I don't know, invest in real estate or things like that. Something that has like a capital return. Uh, I don't know anything about these things, but this is what I'm getting from Spirit right now. So I'm just going to give you what I'm getting. Some of you are going to have like um, a stream of income that comes in. It's just ticking on in the background whilst you actually work hard on another opportunity because the seven of uh, Pentacles there can be like opening yourself up to uh, an alternative strategy or a new strategy at making money. So, um, but the high priestess means you're, you know, the high priestess is mute, so you're not talking about it. I feel like you're having faith that all your plans are going to come to fruition, okay? Also, I feel your intuition is absolutely bang on point in June, so please pay close attention to it. Now, we've got the three of wands. It's in the past position, which means you got a dream. You got a vision. You've got an idea of where you want to be. You're paying attention to external circumstances and opportunities. You're anticipating something new coming into your world. Now, the three of wands can be a card of business. Okay, you're anticipating your next move in business or you're paying attention to the external circumstances of the world and observing patterns in order to be able to um, sort of ride a wave and take the next opportunity or uh, to prepare. It's almost like, you know, you got three of wands four of wands so this is something you decided in the past you had a vision you had a dream or you've got an idea of what you want to do okay you're on the right path towards success when you get this card but this is about deciding you need to expand on your opportunities so I feel like you're making really good choices for yourself and you know and for your relationships as well you're aligning yourself with your heart's desire with this card and that's something you decided in the past. I mean, whenever you get golden cards, uh, you know, especially the sea is golden, it means um, you're amplifying your prosperity. There is a really positive energy here. And whether it's in business or whether it's in love, you're having the patience to see things through to the end and create a really winning strategy for success or having a really positive outcome to get what you need. So the three of wands, as I said, is in the past. But right now you're in the four of wands energy, which tells me that you are doing what you set out to do. There is a winning strategy here, or you are um, about to receive the win, okay? Um, now, in the potential position, we've got the full card. 
you need to come out of your comfort zone. So whatever that means to you, it's like taking a leap of faith and knowing that you have the potential to accomplish whatever it is, but you need to take the first step, okay? That's probably why I saw those feet in the water because it's like taking the first step. Uh, now, interesting, uh, I'm as I'm holding this card, they're showing me someone, it's either saving a bee or a wasp. So either you saw a, a little bumblebee that was like taking a breather on the sidewalk or it was like, drowning in a pool of water or something like that. I just see someone sort of like paying attention to a bee or a, the way that the angle is in the water, the way they're showing me, it looks like a, I think it's a bee, but it could be a wasp, but that's, I mean, I know they're very, very distinctly different, but the way the angle is that they're showing me, because they're actually showing me someone looking after this. So if you came across a bee or a wasp in the last couple of days and you saved it, there's definitely something in this message for you or you look out for a bee or a wasp in distress in the next four to five weeks. You pay attention to it, you look after it, you nurture it back. Uh, I feel like there's some good karma connected to that. I mean, if that does not happen in the physical, because I'm just given images and I have to decode the images in the water, it can also mean um, that perhaps a dream or a goal of yours uh, felt like it was like fading and you're revitalizing the energy. You're revitalizing your spirits for that dream or goal or something you want to accomplish because bees and wasps they tend to be uh sort of workers uh that um work really hard endure a lot and you know get rewarded so i feel like this could be you feeling like perhaps you are not on track but now you've got a new vision of how to get back on track and you're starting to see rewards OK, uh, so uh, I'll leave that image there. It's sort of fading anyway. So uh, I must have said what they want me to say about it. But this means that there is a leap of faith. The full card tells me uh, also that you need to inject a little bit more fun into your day to day because uh, the full card is all about enjoying the journey. OK, now. Um, I would say there's a source or an, a, an idea of adventure, but I feel like you're at a very monumental moment in your life where you're taking a big decision or taking a big leap of faith. And I feel like it opens you up to a wonderful new path. The card that's uh, sort of below it, opposite, is very important because it's like, have faith. The universe is working for you, not against you. Have faith. The universe has got your back. You are protected. So the full card basically doesn't have any idea of um, how they're going to get to the end space. As you can see, uh, this figure is headed on the journey, revitalized, uh, is sort of like excited about the journey they're going to take and recognizes anything is possible. They don't know how they're going to get there, but they're taking the first step. So I feel that's your energy too, Capricorn. You don't know the details of how you're actually going to get what you want or how to accomplish it, but you've got a strategy and you trust that the universe is going to meet you halfway. And I feel like you're on the precipice of something really big here for you, okay? Um, we've also got Seven of Pentacles in the near future. So this means, you know, you're reevaluating circumstances um, and you may be sort of like uh, making a deal that makes you more money or you're checking in on whether what you're investing in is reaping a, you know, a fair exchange. So whether you're working really hard for your money and you're like, you're, you like your job, for example, but you feel like you could earn more money because you've hit a glass ceiling. You may have had a vision to sort of look elsewhere for opportunity. Suddenly there's that plot twist where an opportunity arises from the shadows, something you were not expecting. And all of a sudden you're on the right path to making more money. This card is a card of opening yourself up to that new strategy or being at a fork in the road. OK, so I really feel like you've waited really hard for the success. Your investments are bearing fruit, but I feel like you had to wait a little bit longer in order to be successful. So I, I do feel like you are reaping the rewards, though. Success is just well, I feel like success is within reach. There is more financial gain here. Uh, I mean, for some of you, if you're looking for a new job or an opportunity, there's definitely one coming on in. There's something being offered to you. OK. Um, but I feel like this is more about your investment. This is about you securing your position, securing uh, your goal, your dream, and finding a way to make things work uh, for you. Um, yeah, you, you're, you're releasing things that no longer work for you in order to streamline your energy. I always say this when I talk to you, uh, my beautiful Capricorns, you're working smarter, not harder, okay? Uh, so I feel like that's your strategy. Now, your advice to yourself in this moment is two of cups, which is about align yourself with 
the things that you love doing. It's almost like law of attraction card, okay? It's about you raising your vibrations to match the things that you want. So either you're trying to uh, you know, manifest a proposal um, where you uh, have a business partnership um, or, um, or a romantic partnership. This is about uh, you, know, you setting an intention, a heart connection between you and what you desire. Okay, and this is about you sort of really focusing on that manifestation. So I really feel this card is an encouragement from the universe. You're being encouraged to go after a dream or a goal and it brings out the best in you. So um, whether it is, you know, the job of your dreams and you are now investing it, you feel like home at this space, but it means you're coming out of your comfort zone. Some of you may have had to go on a new adventure or leave um, where you felt like was home and go elsewhere to activate this goal or dream. Some of you, I mean, the world card has not shown up, but you could be relocating or something like that. But there is a calling here, a calling to match a vibration. I mean, at grassroots, it can also mean that you are looking for a uh, love relationship or you've just met somebody and it's a new start for you. And you feel like this is someone that you could uh, have a long term secure relationship with and you can see yourself marrying this person. So I do feel like after a period of being left out in the cold or feeling like you're not 100% vibing with something, I feel like you're reconnecting, revitalizing your spirits. And I feel like you're, it's almost like you're winning an opportunity to fulfill your heart, but also make money. And, uh, you know, I feel like you're coming into your own. You're aligning yourself with what your heart wants. Uh, this card is a card of attraction, okay? Finding an affinity, understanding what you want, wants you, okay? Uh, for some of you, I feel like, you know, this is also you reconnecting with friends that you haven't seen for a while, going for a drink or a coffee or something like that, and just being in good vibrations with good people. And I feel like that's something you've missed for a while because you've been working, your focus has been working so hard in silence. But there's some sort of big, decision you're making here um, that actually you've probably visualized this in many many different forms but when it starts to take flight it's even better than you imagined external circumstances we've got the king of wands now this is all about passion desire taking the initiative you are always the sort of sign i just did a reading for gemini uh so of course i'm feeling that gemini energy as well in your reading because of the new moon in gemini but i feel this energy of you you go out and happen to life you don't let life just happen to you so i feel like this is uh you know king of wands is a card of security building your position being bold having that vitality to be motivated to get on the path of your dreams or accomplish whatever it is you set out to do. Some of you may be wanting to step up into a leadership position that has more responsibility, or you may feel a little bit more creative, but this is a card of influencing your circumstances. So you are in control. You're being, it's almost like you're in, aspiring to something greater. You're having confidence in your own abilities and your vision is coming to life. It is becoming, okay? Don't be closed off to any new ideas. I feel like this is, creative inspired leadership. Uh, some of you may also have spiritual influences where suddenly you see the light and you, you know what to do. You've had a real revelation. Um, with the King of Wands, this is also like promotion. So I feel like you're leveling up. If you're st starting your own business or you have your own business, I feel like you're in control. You're in the hot seat, you're in power. Uh, and this is a card of empowerment. Um, so the external circumstances is a lot more energy knowing where you want to go and being on the right path, okay? Initiating the next step. Um, hope and a fear, we got Ace of Cups. So your hope is that the universe meets you halfway and offers you what you truly desire because that is the hand from the universe popping out after a difficult period. As you can see, that cloud is all very sort of like stormy. So I feel like after a difficult time, you're being offered an opportunity to align with your heart. This card is a card of emotion, of course, loving what you do, but an opportunity that connects to your heart space. Uh, this could also be about emotional care. You're going to really focus on yourself. A lot of mental, emotional activity going on in the month of June, where you implement self-care routines, um, you know, make sure you connect to things that feel good, good diets, body, mind, and soul, uh, you know, good exercise routines, good people, good company, that sort of thing, where you feel completely revitalized um, and peaceful, peace of mind. They just give me peace of mind. Um, with this card, this card reminds you that there are a lot of, a possib a lot of possibilities available to you and that you are uh, optimistically bringing those dreams into being, into life. You're allowing, uh, you know, your light 
to sort of shine in the darkest of uh, places, but also this is a time of uh, love overflowing between people, whether it's a relationship that's romantic or friendships or family unions. I feel like this is about the good life. June is a positive month, or it seems to be a positive month for you, okay? Uh, the fear here is feeling disappointed, feeling let down, uh, because you may have felt like you had to uh, sacrifice something in order to gain something greater, or you may have felt like this plot twist wasn't entirely part of your plan. But because you're so adaptable and, and you're adjusting, I feel like it works out even better than your plan. You still get to where you want to go. It's just you're taking a different route to get there. So for example, if your goal was to make tons of money, for example, and you're like, uh, my goal is I want to make tons of money. That's it. But the universe, you're taking a certain path. You may decide to open yourself up to a second stream of income, or you may open yourself up to another sector um, in order to earn more money. It wasn't part of the plan, but then I feel like you're not paying you're not sure how you're going to get there, but you know you're going to get there. So I feel like you're going to achieve your goal, but you may have not visualized it in the way that it shows up. OK, um, this card in the hope and fear position indicates you've been let down in some area of your life and you may have been seeking solace in friends or family or feeling a bit lonely, left out. Um, things have not been going your way, uh, but I feel all of a sudden something is offered to you where that disenchantment disappears, that disappointment disappears and suddenly you have what you've been hoping for. So whether, for example, you separated from somebody that you thought was your long term partner, uh, that you it was the one and you may have been grieving. Uh, um, you know, or you felt abandoned by love in general, um, all of a sudden there's love. All of a sudden there's an opportunity to be in a relationship that you thought was never going to come because you've been so disappointed with love and everything that you've been expecting just didn't show up. Same with the job. You know, you may have been like, I love making money. It's great, but I just feel unrewarded in what I do. I feel emotionally uh, not connected. I feel a little bit off track. I feel like it's not my life purpose and I feel totally, um, you know, not stretched in my imagination. So you may open yourself up to a new path, take a leap of faith and suddenly an offer that is bang on point. Everything you ever wanted it to be shows up. OK, and you're really successful at it. So I feel like this is a start of something brilliant coming towards you. Now, the outcome Actually, when I put this card down, I'm seeing an envelope, which means there is some sort of news or communication that you're really excited about. It really makes you smile. As soon as you open this thing, you're, I just see someone's face beaming, smiling. OK, so whether it is a message from a potential new lover or an opportunity that comes your way, it's something that really makes you smile and sees that you're it shows you that you're on the right path. Um, now, the outcome energy, I'm going to pull a card on the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Swords because the Five of Pentacles basically says um, you may have been struggling with something um, and you may have felt like you're, something is missing, okay? And you may have had some sort of sadness about that or a longing. You may have been going through a hardship or a struggle, but they're indicating here that help is at hand. The universe is coming. Uh, as you can see, uh, there tends to be in the Five of Pentacles, like a sanctuary in the background. Uh, it doesn't have to be a church, but it can be a sanctuary. It doesn't have to be religious, but it feels like the universe is showing up to uh, help you find a solution to your circumstances. So whether you feel like suddenly there was a bill that you were not expecting, you will find a resource to um, have a solution to that bill. So you will find the money, for example. Uh, Five of Pentacles also says, you know, don't put yourself in a position to have less you know, if you feel like, you know, for example, don't spend more than you're capable of um, having in that particular month. I mean, that's a no brainer to everybody. But the five of pentacles can mean that you'll feel a little bit like, for example, you can't go out and enjoy yourself. Four of swords is just like stay at home. Really think about what you did. Just don't repeat the cycle. OK, you know, when you get a big bill, and you're like, wow, I did not think I spent that much this month, this month. And you're like, OK, next month is going to be even more tighter than ever. And then you're sitting there wrestling with your thoughts like um, shame, shame. You, you, you knew did this, uh, you know, and you put yourself in this position. You got nobody to blame but yourself and you're feeling sorry for yourself. OK, so I feel like. It's almost like you will be learning or sort of like you'll learn not to do it again, for example, or you have learned not to um, repeat a cycle of spending more than you earn, for example. Uh, with the five of pentacles, it can also mean you feel abandoned or left out in a situation, whether it was a promotion or you feel like a boss sort of 
looked over for you, uh, looked over uh, at giving you a raise and just didn't give it to you or whatever. Um, I feel like this is about you actually sort of really focusing on healing that disappointment. Uh, the Four of Swords is like taking a step back or resting, really having a, a moment of greater clarity of how you can do things differently next time. It's time for a break. It's time for self-care. So if you've been working yourself to the bone and you've been burnt out and you're not able to enjoy yourself, I feel like you're taking a step back to revitalize your energy. Uh, Queen of Cups is all about self-care. So that will be the name of the game for June in particular. Uh, Queen of Cups is also about being really sensitive, really emotional, especially since that 12th house is activated where you deeply protect uh, part of your, your yourself, uh, dealing with fears and securities uh, in order to process them and sort of rise up and overcome them. I feel like you're freeing yourself up here. Um, now this can be that uh, suddenly falling in love uh, suddenly, you know, your heart that you've protected for such a long time because of um, situations where you felt abandoned or alone for a long period and you've waited a long time for love. Suddenly you meet somebody, but you're feeling a little bit protected. There's a guard, a boundary. Now, it's important to remember emotional security, of course, is important. Um, and, you know, you're very generous with your heart when you're in love. Um, but I feel if you've been hurt in the past, I feel like you may be a little bit guarded. Build a healthy boundary, but not a brick wall. You want love to come on in and you want love to be able to come out. So I feel like um, you're cherishing your heart, you're nurturing yourself, and you're recognizing that in order to hold on to your heart, for example, or hold on to your emotions, it's not going to be fulfilling for you, okay? So if there's someone here that uh, is showing you advances in love, for example, you may feel really guarded. Um, it's going to be at stalemate because you're closed off to it. So just be mindful of that. Um, but I, I do feel like you're really protecting. I mean, the Queen of Cups there is a protective energy, protecting the dream, protecting the goal, not giving up on something, knowing that you will accomplish it, okay? This is a prize. So I feel like you're winning. I feel like you're protecting your position as well. And I feel like you are uh, sort of like understanding that your dreams are coming to life. Now, also, I feel like meditating or taking a step back to really think before you take a leap of faith is important because I feel like listening with the Queen of uh, Cups here, the word listening kept coming to me. Listen. So whether it's listen to your heart, listen to your intuition, or listen to world circumstances, I feel like listening is very, very important in the month. I mean, even if you're in a relationship already, listening is important. Listening is important for everybody, okay? Um, you know, friendships, relationships, everything. Listening is important because we listen to understand. And sometimes we have so many things going on in our mind that we don't truly listen. So, you know, you can have a conversation with someone and inside they're thinking, oh, I better pick up the groceries. I didn't call that person back. I've got other things to do. And they're going, mm -hmm, yeah, oh yeah, oh right, yeah, that's great. So I feel like it's about being present, okay? And, you know, really, because you don't want to miss something. Um, also, I would say if you're going for an opportunity or you're taking a leap of faith um, in uh, some sort of business arena because the, the wands connect to passion and achievement. So if you're going for something, I would say don't call attention to your weaknesses or things that you perceive as your weaknesses because you're really talented at what you do. You're also at what you do. And you calling attention to your weaknesses only makes someone become aware of them. Nobody's thinking about the things that you lack. They want to see the things that you add because you add value to where you're at. Always, Capricorn, you bring a lot to the table. You are added value to any circumstance. So I feel like people want to see how you uh, fit in or how you uh, bring you know, something of interest or bonus to a company or to a circumstance or to a relationship, you know, having confidence in what you have to offer is important, okay? No one is ever, humans are very, very complex creatures. We are all sitting there. Even if you had 10 of the most powerful people around a table that we perceive as powerful, wealthy, blah, 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 you know those people, uh, around a table, each person has their own fear. Things that they are thinking that they don't have or that they want, everyone's got a modus operandi. Everybody's got something that they want or they feel like they don't have and they lack. They're too focused on thinking of their own sort of foibles or their own insecurities to be thinking about yours. So don't call into attention yours. 
have the confidence because everyone is like having confidence. I know it's such a, I don't really like this sentence, but they're giving me this energy right now. Uh, it's fake it till you make it. Okay. But Capricorn, you're so authentic. You can't fake anything. You're so honest, open, grounded. You've got a plan. You decide what you're going to do and you do it. But I feel like it's, it's almost like you're going to make it and then you're going to make it some more. So there's no fake going on. But if you're feeling a little bit insecure in the month or you're feeling a little bit like you lack something in some area, they want you to have confidence. They want you to realize actually you bring a lot to the table of life in general. You matter. Your ideas have value. Your talent is off the charts. You're capable of achieving whatever it is you set out to do. The Page of Pentacles tells us that. This is about your hard work, your dedication, your commitment to your prosperity. And this is the first signs of tangible success, undeniable evidence that you are working really hard and it's going to pay off. OK, uh, so this could be also the, the start of a new dream or a new uh, project or you're, you're starting a new part in business. Uh, but whatever it is, you're investing in something new. It's the beginning of something. Pages tend to be the beginning of something. So whether it is like something you've always wanted to do when you were a child, uh, because we got the full card there, or whether it is uh, you starting your own business, starting your new business, and you're aspiring to be that king of wands energy, uh, you are in control. Your dedication, your ability to attract what you need and make good decisions uh, will see you reap rewards, okay? So uh, also I feel if you are um, looking for a new job or a raise or a promotion, it's headed your way, okay? Just don't uh, call attention to your weaknesses. I feel like you've worked diligently really hard on your own and you're protecting a dream. You are realizing success. Um, also with the uh, Page of Pentacles, you may be trying to learn more about how to make money because pages are very, very curious and very patient. So I feel like you are, uh, you know, implementing new skills, thinking about how to capitalize and uh, multiply uh, your prosperity, okay, and generate more is what they're showing me. This is going to be a time of wealth, of fruitful energy. Um, I do actually feel there's two opportunities headed your way. Okay, one you're not expecting and one that you've been working hard towards. Um, you get to choose, but I feel like you may even somehow make both work. Okay, I'm not really sure how that's possible, uh, but that's what I feel like you'll somehow make both work. So either one is a temporary contract and then you're on to the, an, a more stable one, or uh, you find a way to work schedules and you do both. Perhaps you're having two streams of income there. Uh, I feel like you're in control and you're dominating. OK, um, and there's a lot of uh, energy where you feel excited, uh, you're achieving, but also you're enthusiastic. You're getting your mojo back, okay? Uh, now I'm just going to get some final cards before we close the reading. Uh, we've got Goose, Inner Knowing. Uh, as I said, your crown chakra, that knowingness. You know you will be successful. You know you're going to fly. You know. I mean, some of you are literally going to be um, sort of like emigrating or moving somewhere. Uh, you know, birds tend to sort of emigrate or migrate, shall I say, they tend to migrate where there is opportunity, okay, depending on the um, time of year. So I feel like it's about finding the right place for you right now um, and sort of migrating there. And then, yeah, you can change and you can move about, but I feel like you are moving somewhere or going somewhere that is more rewarding for you. It says here, you are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. That's what that card is all about. Your soul, deep down, you know the way. It says, be confident. You will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry. You are blessed. Let yourself fly. Such an important card, okay? I mean, it literally embodies and says it in a more eloquent way than I ever could. Uh, but I feel like it really sort of connects to how your reading is playing out for the month of June, okay? Um, now, I'm just going to get some final sort of personal power oracle deck cards. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Now, just as I'm shuffling these cards, I'm seeing someone have fries. So if that's you, there's something in this message for you. Um... If it's not you, uh, it may it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means that they want that person to pay close attention to the reading because their attention may have wavered. I mean, I'm not surprised. They're probably enjoying their fries. So their attention is on the fries. So, uh, I mean, mine would be too, to be honest. But anyway, um, so, um, yeah, uh, the image is gone. So I guess that needed to connect to somebody there. Or maybe you've been craving fries. Um, but also, if you, I don't know why I'm going on this tangent. 
I don't know, I'm just, okay, I don't know why I'm going on this, but this is the energy they're giving me, so I have to go with it because that's what I'm getting. If you think about, uh, for example, the humble potato, there are so many ways to make it work or make it uh, palatable or make it enjoyable. So the potato in itself is, you know, a something whole, but it that grows, okay? And there's a lot of eyes, so it's about seeing the potential um, and, you know, seeing opportunity to like, for example, you can make it mashed potato, you can make it fries, you can make it fritters, you can make it, um, I don't know, you can make it so many things. So I feel like this is about you um, working with what you got and being able to kind of like change it at will to suit your needs. That is such a weird analogy. I have never, ever, ever gotten an analogy like that. So, I mean, maybe you're a, cater you're a caterer, maybe you're into catering or food or something like that. I mean, all humans, must be into food because we need to survive. But I feel um, this can also be, um, wow, this is a powerful, profound one. I've never ever thought of this either. Um, so for example, when there tends to be like difficult circumstances uh, in like earlier, wow, this is weird. Uh, I wanna say the word feudal times. Um, I don't know anything about this, so I, I'm gonna have to look this up, but um, you know, the staple diet would be like, for example, a potato in order to, it's like a little goes a long way. So you may feel like in difficult circumstances, uh, I mean, economically, things are very challenging right now. Everything's uh, inflating apart from the wages, right? So uh, you may feel like you're trying to be resourceful with what you've got, making it work, secure your position. So I feel like maybe that energy is coming out there as well in your month of June, okay? Um, Wow, I will never look at the potato in, in in the same way ever again, okay? Anyway, moving on from that, I've got, I trust my intuition. And that's so important. Deep down, you're channeling. There's a lot of psychic ability. Everybody actually has the ability. You know, people call it gut instinct. I always call the gut the, the, the first brain because um, also potatoes have lots of eyes and I'm about to discuss the gut being the first brain where it sees or it senses things that the eyes don't see. So maybe there's something in eyes as well. Perhaps you're focusing on your eyes or eye health or something like that this month. Maybe you're getting glasses or you're seeing something clearly. Anyway, I'm gonna move on from that. Um, yeah, this is your first brain, really. They say, the scientists say, the, your gut instinct is your first brain because it feels the undercurrent. It senses something is off and it communicates with the brain and says, hey, can you connect to the eyes, see if there's a threat or something going on because I'm feeling something a little bit ropey here and the brain connects with the eyes, the eyes says, I don't see nothing. The brain says to the gut, no, no, nothing here. And the gut says, well, keep your eyes peeled because something's not right, I feel it. So perhaps intuitively, you are really connecting to a period where you need to keep your wits about you. So, but I feel like there's a win here. I feel like you are securing your position and you are capitalizing on it. So uh, we've done that, done that. I'm just gonna get you a final ruin. Did I get three? One, I'm closing my eyes, one, two. Great. Yeah, so the first ruin here, I'm trying to connect to the energy here. Okay, so I'm actually just seeing a tree and it's kind of silver. I want to say it's a silver birch tree. So perhaps some of you have like um, an intolerance to a silver birch tree or, you know, uh, it's one of the causes for your um, hay fever or something like that. If that's you, there's something in this message for you. Uh, but Okay, uh, this ruin uh, is all about becoming. Uh, it could also be birthing, creating roots um, in some way. Uh, it does connect to like earth mother energy. So um, birthing new ideas, being really creative, especially since you got the creative card there. So I feel like this is about you, yeah, evolving to the next stage in some way. Um, also the next room we have, okay. They're just showing me, wow, I can't believe it. They're showing me lots of dollar signs, okay? So, I mean, maybe you make, you may not make your money in dollars, but I feel like it is showing me um, like uh, a symbol of money, basically. So I feel like it's, uh, they're showing me currency, which tells me about money, 
Okay, I understand why. This is the ruin of harvest, harvest time, reward. Okay, and we had that B come out earlier as well. So I feel like there is reward. Uh, there's something to celebrate here uh, because of your commitment, your drive, your talent. Uh, so definitely uh, a rewarding month for you. And finally, we have got Well, this one's a little bit more difficult. I may have to look at this one because I can't quite connect to the... They're just... Oh, okay, they're showing me... They're showing me the full card in the water, okay? Uh, I just opened my eyes. I was going to take a peek at it, but uh, I caught the image in the water right now, the full card. So it could be about the journey. It could be the journey ruin. Yeah, so this basically uh, connects to the wheel, wheel of fortune. It's about taking a risk or a gamble, being on the right path, uh, taking a leap of faith, but it's also about enjoying the journey. Okay, so very important message there. Enjoy the journey and you will always find yourself in the right place at the right time to meet the right opportunities or meet the right people. At Grassroots, some of you will be aligning yourself with a relationship. There's love coming on in an offer. This person may be a bit younger than you, but you may feel like withdrawing from this person because you're protecting your heart. Okay, that five of pentacles, that four of swords, you may not feel like communicating with this person or you feel like shutting this person out or putting the brakes on because you've been hurt before. But I feel like you will slowly come out of your shell and see it is a relationship worth investing in. Okay, uh, for those of you who are already in a relationship, I feel like um, you are both working towards the right things and you may have both gone through some difficult uh, sort of times, but I feel like both of you are being seen and being heard. You're opening yourself up both of you are opening yourselves up to a new emotional level, okay? So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Capricorns. Um, if you'd like to be in the chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is write five things down on a piece of paper that you wish to um, release as blockages in your life, okay? Whether it's low self-confidence or trust issues or um, attracting negative people, whatever it is, um, write it down on a piece of paper and find a creative way to release that to the universe, okay? In the comments box below, just put this sentence, I've let it go, now I'm in the flow. And I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of June, and I'll announce the winner's name in a video upload only. Also, if something resonated here, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you, all you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is actually very, very important for me too, okay? Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorn. Love and light.